Then we have Drakkar Close taking on Joe Selecki. This is a sneaky good fight. Both of these guys have solid records. Both of these guys have great performances. Both of them are also not the most active fighters in the world, which always makes some of these break. You haven't fought in a year, year and a half. It makes the breakdowns hard because I don't know exactly what you're going to look like. But this is a very good matchup. We have Joe Selecki. This guy's a great grappler. He leans heavily on his wrestling, heavily on his takedowns. He's slick on the ground, and he can really make things happen with pressure and transition. He also has good hands, clean boxing, and it's not just there to set up the takedowns. He'll hang out. He'll work a striking fight with you. He will, however, lose to the more technically sound strikers, and if you go back to Jared Gordon, you can see that. He's coming off that Carl Deaton the third. What? I don't, every time I break that guy, Carl Dayton the third, it's just a wild name. Anyway, he only landed three strikes in that. Literally three total strikes, but he had two takedowns and a second round submission. He's taking on Drakkar Close. This guy's also a very good wrestler who has developed very good striking. He was a state champion wrestler. He uses that wrestling offense, but he does have some issues defending takedowns. He's got solid boxing with power and speed. If you remember, though, a few years ago at the weigh-ins, he was shoved that fight was canceled, and it sidelined him for a year. I believe it was a neck injury. Then he came back, and he won that decision over Hafa Garcia, where he was taken down a handful of times, but he controlled the striking. This is a competitive fight between two guys who are only a win or two away from being ranked. I mean, look at their body of work. Look at their record. They literally have been doing incredible things quietly over the last couple of years. But I do think this could look exactly like Drakkar's last fight with Hoffa Garcia. Some back and forth wrestling. Drakkar's going to control the striking. And he'll take a decision. Drakkar has all the talent in the world. And even the long layoff doesn't worry me too much because we've seen that from him before. A year off, two years off, three years. It's not that unique for him. It sucks. I hate seeing it. He's 35. You're missing out in the best years of your life here as far as the, your, your MMA is concerned. But I think assuming Drakkar is the same fighter he was a year ago, I think he wins this. And I actually threw a little bit, a half a unit on him at minus 125. I keep looking at that and I'm like, gosh, oh, should I have? Because Joe Selecki is very, very good. And Joe Selecki could get some grappling going, but I trust Drakkar. He's a good wrestler himself. He's going to be the better striker. As long as he's in shape, ready to go, all the things Drakkar close should win this fight. 